Hi, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to troubleshoot logging into the Magento admin page after you do a fresh installation on your local host. This is a problem that I had after I upgraded to one of the newer versions of Magento, specifically 1.3.2, and apparently a lot of other people have had this problem as well. If you Google lo logging into the Magento admin page, you'll find a lot of people have uh, blogged about this or uh, written up little tutorials. Anyway, I thought I'd do a little video tutorial if you aren't real comfortable um, editing uh, files in Magento just so it could be absolutely clear. Uh, what I have here is the Magento admin page and this is right after I've done a fresh installation and you can see I've got my username and my password in there. When I click login looks like it's loading and basically it does nothing you come back to this page and um, as I said I went through this you know, numerous times and could not figure out for the life of me what I was doing wrong and apparently there's just uh, a problem with installing Magento on a local host and what you need to do is bring up your Magento folder that has your installation in it and open up the app folder, open up the code and core, and then the MAGE folder, go to core again, and then model and session, abstract, a lot of files here, and then I'm going to right click on this varian.php and I'm going to edit it with. Uh, notepad and let me just get this so you can see it a little better and when you open up this particular file you'll want to scroll down to about it may depend on um, your editor but in mine it's about line uh, 77 through 84 here and what you want to do is you want to comment out these last three lines. Now, and you'll find, as I said, a lot of help on the Magenta forums as well as different blogs about how to do this. The first time I did it, I commented out these lines as I was uh, told to do. Uh, but what I forgot to do was delete this comma. Now, you could just comment out the comment out the com as well but you need to delete that com as well and then you're going to save this file and we'll close this up and we'll go back here and I'm just going to refresh the browser and then I'm going to log in and there you can see we did log in successfully to the admin section the backend section of the Magento so I hope that helped you sort of visualize exactly what you need to do and I um, hope you found this helpful thank you